Hello everybody, today we're going to be going over how to set up your gateway in the Power BI service so that you always have up-to-date data, you can set up your scheduled refreshes, your data is always live, um, easy peasy. So let's go through it from top to bottom, how to install the gateway, how to connect to data, how to set up the refreshes, all of it. All right, so we've got a blank Power BI file here. Um, we've just got one table in here just so that we can upload some data. And let me just throw something on here for a report page sample. All right, so here's something, we're gonna publish this. And so what we're gonna do is we're publishing this to our service workspace. The way that Power BI works is up in the service workspace is where, where we're gonna share and distribute all of our reports. And within that workspace is how you can set and manage all of your workspace and Power BI access to the data that you're publishing um, and with all of that access and data stuff comes also setting that refresh and how that data in your model that is connected to your report gets refreshed um, so very big step into the Power BI world but luckily Microsoft's made it pretty easy to get set up so what we're gonna want to do is push that publish button save your changes, save as if you need to, and publish it into any workspace. You can publish it into my workspace, a workspace you created, publish it anywhere. Once it has been published, you can go ahead and open up that workspace. And so there you go. So we've just published it, 702, 702, so it was just published right now. Great, here's our data set. We know that it's a data set by this type or by the icon. We've got a data set icon here, and then it's the name. Um, then we also have that report. So the reason why I threw some little sample on top of the report is just so that when it gets published, you can see not just a blank page, right? So it does, whenever you publish a new data set, it does also just publish with whatever that report comes with a part of that data set. So that's just the default function. Um, so, but what we're gonna wanna do is focus on this data set, right? So this is the refresh button. Let's try to push this button and it says it failed. Okay, so let's go through how to set that up. So the way that we get a way to set up these refreshes so that we can automatically refresh our data, go ahead and hover over your data set. So hover over a data set that you're looking at and go to those three dots, the more options. Click on that, go to settings. Once we're in settings, what we're going to want to do is go to gateway connections. And then in here, we can see that we either do have a gateway and it's not configured properly or that we need to install a gateway. So let me go through how to install it first and then we can go into how to configure it. So in the top right, we're going to have the download button. Click on the download button and just go to data gateway. So it's the second option. It'll pop open the options. Go ahead and download the standard gateway. All right, so then that will go through its download process. Very simple download, very basic download. And then let's go ahead and open up the gateway here so you guys can see what it looks like. So once you've get the gateway installed, this is what it's gonna look like. So right after the install is done, you're gonna get brought to a page that looks like this. Go ahead and just sign in. So sign in to your normal Power BI account that you're logged into normally. And once you're signed in, this is gonna be the page that you're brought to. And this is all you have to do. There's nothing else to it. Once you've got that all done, you are good to go. Um, you've got Power BI and Power Apps all ready to go. You can refresh all of your data. And sorry, I think I missed this, but the download that we're going to want to do is download the standard gateway. We're going to want to download the standard gateway. It just allows you for more access and more maneuverability with your data and connections and stuff. There are some use cases to personal, but you can mostly just ignore personal. Just download the standard gateway mode, and then this is the easy setup that you'll be brought through. So installer, done. Sign in, done. All of the services for all of the refreshes and data connections are all set up you are all done on this front. So you can go ahead and close out of that once you're on that page. Again, all you need to do is sign in. Great, and then once we do that, we can go back to our Power BI page in our data model settings. Go ahead and just refresh the page to make sure that we've got in that like updated model really, just to make sure that we updated our gateway connection so it recognizes that it's there. And what we're gonna wanna do after we get our gateway installed is go to the gateway connection so again, I'll walk through that again, just in the data set, click on those three dots, 
oops, didn't need to download it, sorry, go to settings. And then in settings, it is going to be the first option. So gateway connections, go ahead and drop that down and then click on the arrow all the way at the end of that. When we click on that arrow, it's going to drop down all of the different connections that are in our model that we have published right now. So we only had one file within our model, so it only lists the single file that we've got. So all we're going to do is we just need to push this gateway button. So it's very, Power BI makes it very simple. You push on this arrow and it's going to show you what is not configured properly. So it's saying our status for this model is not properly configured to refresh. Push on the little drop down arrow. It will show you what either is or is not ready to go. And what isn't, whatever is not ready to go, just push on the little add to gateway button. So once you push add to gateway, it's going to bring you to a connection system, a, a little connection place within Power BI. What this is, is this houses every connection that your gateway currently has credentials for or has tried to connect to at some point in time. And when we add it directly from our connection settings section and do the add to gateway, we already get the connection path and file stuff already filled out for us. So we don't need to worry about what, what or how we need to connect. That's already decided for us when we push that add to gateway button from the settings. Let's give our name to our file. So we are on a specific file. I like to be very specific with my names in case my model gets big. I don't like having stuff misorganized and out of control with naming conventions. So be very specific with your names, especially with files or folders or anything like that. Let's go accounts underscore CSV file. And so this right here is where it gets a little bit weird. So in the authentication section, if we're connecting to a file that's on our local drive or on a local machine anywhere, what we're going to need to enter is your machine's credentials, right? So you're entering in your machine's username. So if you lock your computer screen, that username that you see when you're opening up your screen and then the password that you type in, that's the password and username that you use here when you're connecting to a local file. And then go ahead and push create. You can keep the setting on organization. And then it's going to bring you back to the gateway connections. And if you have any others to go through, you're essentially just going to have to go through that same thing, right? So Power BI made it nice and easy. Push the arrow, add anything to gateway, click on all of the add to gateway buttons. Once you finish one, it'll bring you right back to the gateway button. Just push the next one and continue down the list. Just throw in all of your credentials into that little section that you're brought to. And then once you're done with that, all you got to do is click on the drop down. And the neat thing about Power BI, let's say we add 10 or 15 different gateway connections. What Power BI is going to do here is instead of listing all 10 or 15 gateway connections, you have to scroll through having to know exactly which one to push for that specific connection you're looking at. It's only going to list the connections that are available for that connection path. So if you have a bunch of different connection paths, it's only going to show the single gateway connection that you've got applied to that path. So it's very nice and easy, very organized. And then once you've got that mapped, you can go ahead and push apply. And we can see that we're running on the desktop name, right? So we're running our gateway on our desktop. We've got our gateway connected. And you can see down here, our data source credentials, we've already got access because we've got it going through our gateway. Now, if we go back to here and try to push our refresh button. So if we go back to our workspace and try to push our refresh button, preparing a refresh. We can see it's refreshing. And there you go. We can see that our data successfully refreshed. So it's that easy. What was that? Five, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. And we set up an entire gateway, got it connected to a data source, and now we have live data. So whenever our data within our data, data source is updated, we'll have live data within our report and our data will be updated right away. And then the, it's as easy as for scheduled refreshing. It's as easy as coming back into those three dots into the data set settings, go to the refresh option now, instead of the gateway connections, go to refresh. And we're just going to turn that on. Let's add a couple of times here, five, nine and noon. There you go. And then so all this is going to do is this is setting our refresh schedule is on. So we're setting a refresh schedule. We're setting that refresh schedule to be daily. You can set it to be daily or weekly. And then our time zone, you can specify what time zone you want. And then you can just add times, right? Just keep adding times. And so it, it, whatever time you specify is when the data set will be kicked off. So is when the refresh will start to refresh. 
and then depending however long your data set takes to refresh it'll be that long until it's finally updated but we have set hours to refresh three times a day let's go back to our workspace and then there you go you can see that our next refresh is set for 5 a.m and it's that easy so quick little tutorial on how to set up a gateway from scratch from having no gateway downloaded to having a refreshed live gateway scheduled to refresh your power bi models with your live data let me know if you have any questions on that if you want to go through any specific data connections happy to run through some of those in other videos um, but hopefully this is a good way to get you started on getting your data live and reportable in power bi thanks bye